Good day, dear friends. In this short video, I'm going to show you a little bit more about templates in Power Automate. So once again, when we go to office.com and navigate to Power Automate, so click on this Power Automate button, you get to this screen, uh, you know, with all options which are available for Power Automate service. And here there is an option called templates. Based on this templates, you can create different flows. And uh, here I'll just show you a quick example. You see there are different uh, uh, flows here, featured flows, shared, uh, related to remote work, approval, Visio, etc. I'll have a quick look at uh, a remote work section. And there is a template called post message in Teams when planner task is completed. So what it means, you know, many companies, they use uh, planner service and also Teams. And it's very convenient you know, when you complete the task in planner, set it to done, then there would be a post in, in a channel for your project manager to see that uh, this task is complete. So we will use this template as an example. For this template, basically we will have two services, connection to two of the services to Planner and Microsoft Teams. And uh, this is just my account, which I use to connect to those services. And so here, uh, this is an example, what we have, right? We can rename the flow, right? Uh, like, um, I don't know, planner update and uh, when the task is completed so this is an automated flow means that uh, when a task is completed we can select uh, based on a specific group uh, let's say we'll do the group um, uh, project 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 app let's say this is the group and then there is the plan ID. Oh, it looks like I do not, do not have a plan ID in this specific group. So let's select another one. Uh, let's try another test case. For example, uh, planner workaround, right? And here I have a planner, right? So I can select the group and then the planner ID. And then uh, what happens, uh, I just need to select a team where the message will be posted. I, I'll post it in all staff team and then the channel. Uh, let's say I do it in this channel, not in general, but in another channel, uh, new property acquisition. This is just all test channels. And here I can specify the um, w what kind of a, a message should be posted in the channel and I just click save. Uh, that's it. This is a very, very basic, simple template. It allows to, to create this uh, flow. Okay, now we're going to run a test to make sure that our planner uh, workflow, that this um, Power Automate flow actually works. So what I do here, I open the planner which is specified in the flow and I see there is a task here and what I do I just complete the task the flow should be triggered and the message should be posted in the uh, all staff team here let's see if I refresh There is nothing. So it looks like uh, the planner flow did not work. Let me have a quick look and check what could be the case. Hmm, there are no no run history. So let's have a look when a task is completed.
let me do a test again. I add a new task. And this new task is is completed, right? Then the flow should be triggered. It shows the flow, flow ran successfully. And let's see. Yes, we have a post today. Uh, so actually it posted. Uh, you see it, it's, a, you know, the text is not very user friendly, but <laughs> we have something, you know, at least it's a good start. So uh, then, of course, the text can be modified within the flow and some additional tests are needed. But initial test I can consider to be successful. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope it's been helpful. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.